Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today, we're going to take a look at a couple of minor attack replays, and break down the strategies used to take down these professional bases. It has been said that miners are not in the meta, but perhaps without them, we would not have succeeded in this war. Starting from the bottom up, let's take a look at Jason on number 18. As you can see, this is quite a rectangular base, which means that some kind of mass army is likely to take it down. So he uses the queen and an ice golem to take out a big funnel at the top, and he's going to use the BK at the bottom to create the funnel down there. And he's going to spread the miners down the middle straight at the defenses, and they'll path from defense to defense through the middle of the base, just absolutely crushing it. The Warden buffs the Miners almost as much as he does with the Hogs, which means they can both be very strong in this meta. He uses a stone slammer with loons in it straight down the middle of the base, but pretty much anything that stone slammer would have worked out because the miners already crushed it. Perfect base identification by Jason. Next up, we have a similar strategy by What a Playa. He's going to start off with the balloons on the Archer Tower to create the funnel for the Barbarian King, as well as to lure the CC. Out of the CC comes a Baby Dragon, which he's going to safely take out on the outside of the base using a Poison Spell, a Minion, and a Wizard. If you let the Baby Dragon attack the Miners, there's a possibility that the Baby Dragon could escape the poison spell, although that is unlikely if you place the poison spell right, it is still possible. So Queen with an Ice Golem on the other side to extend her reach a little bit, and then the miners are going to come in straight from 10 o'clock. So what makes this strategy so powerful against these two types of bases is the combination of the rectangular base design and the fact that there were no dead zones between the miners' pathing and the Inferno Towers or the Eagle Artillery. If there were dead zones there, then there's a possibility that no miners would attack them, and then they would leave them up for the end, and they would keep attacking the miners. So if that was the case, it would slowly peck away at the miners, and they would eventually fizzle out. But there's a perfect split of the miners between the infernos, and what a player is able to triple this base easily.
So now we're moving on to the Queen Charge minor attacks. First we're going to have Hugh up against Lewis. He's going to use the Queen Charge along with a Wall Wrecker to break into the base and take out the Eagle Artillery as well as a couple of Expos and create the pathing for the Miners through the three Infernos. So the idea here is that instead of having the entire base be a rectangle, he's going to create a rectangle out of what is left after the queen charge is over. So BK starting the funnel at 1 o'clock, and then the miner is going to be dropped right towards the infernal compartments. Ideally this queen is going to get through the wall with as many healers as possible and she's going to continue on to get the town hall so the miners don't have to deal with that. Now the key to this attack was the Warden being a team player moving over to the Queen and able to use the Warden ability on this almost dead friendly Queen and she's going to be able to take out the Town Hall with just a sliver of health left on her. Then along with a Rage spell that we don't even need we're going to clear the rest of the base with the Miners. And finally, the raid against Itsu. So this is going to be a Queen Charge Minor attack as well. Starting with the Queen at 6 o'clock, we are able to jump her into the Inferno Compartment, where she is also able to reach the Eagle Artillery without triggering the Clan Castle. Then with the BK funnel at 9 o'clock, we are able to drop the miners down at 8 with a rectangular shaped path towards the town hall. Because of where the heroes are placed, we're able to be reasonably certain that the miners are going to go to the heroes and then end up clumping up on the town hall. So in short, with Town Hall 12 Miners, you can either find a base that's very rectangular, or you can use a Queen Charge to create a rectangular shaped path through the base. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned something. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. But that's all for now. I'm Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.